Hello everyone, it's Rain here with Audio Pug and Deals. Today we're having a look at Liberal Wave's modern Bowron instrument. It's one of many great deals that we have here, so don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you can always stay on top of when we have offers like this. Now, let's waste no time, get right into it. So a good first question for some of us might be, what exactly is a baron, and why is it spelt like that? I can't tell you the second one, but the first one uh, we can definitely go into. So it's a Celtic frame drum. I believe the baron is originally Irish, and it would be played by having one hand holding the back of the drum and then using a stick or beater to play different tones on the face of it. Um, and then you can also do side sticks, and there's a lot of different sounds you can get out of the different parts of the baron. These different sounds are all color-coded within Libra Wave's uh, Rhapsody Player interface. So we have the lowest tones in yellow, some different velocities there, spread over two octaves so you can easily bounce between them on your keyboard to create the type of rhythm baron players would have. As we go up, green is the medium tones, and climbing further, and then we're starting to get the higher tones and the clickier ones, with the grey being the side stick. Now, we have three different choices of stick. The tipper is the most traditional one. The hot rod is a, like a bundle tied together that's sort of halfway between the tipper and the brush, which is the softest sound. The hard. And these each have their own envelope, as you can see if I go between. So if you modify one of them with just standard attack, hold, decay, sustain, release controls, and a curve here as well, those modifications just apply to that choice of beta. And now uh, the other crucial thing, we kind of touched on it, is velocity. So here we have a tool for scaling the velocity within the Baron instrument. So the X axis is what velocities you're putting in with your sequencing or your performance. The Y is what comes out. So if we did this, it means that up until velocity 93, it would actually be reducing those velocities quite a lot and then the higher velocities can poke through as normal. So you can change the scaling. The line is showing which velocity the current note you're playing is. So you can see there, it's affecting it. And then you can add nodes by clicking, you can remove them by right clicking, and you can change curve by right clicking and dragging between two nodes as well. So the way I have it here, it would be leveling out all of these sort of middle velocities while enabling the higher velocities to be quite sharply higher and create a bit more contrast from those middle ones. And then you get that dynamic variation. So you can shape that as you want. You have expression to change how forcefully it's being played. You need to be quiet there, mute it. And then damping is a filter. And finally, we have the stereo mixer. So there was five microphones used to record the Baron's, and we had three at the back. We have D112 back, R92, CMC6. You can adjust the volumes, you can adjust the panning, and the same for the two microphones at the front. And there's a stereo mix channel as well, and you can turn off certain microphones if you want. So you know, just experiment with the sound here to get whatever is most suitable for how you're using the modern baron. Now let's look at the presets, because we do have four different drums, all with the same presets, which are just ways of getting different uh, patterns out of the baron more easily, and they're conducive to certain ways of playing. Um, so, you know, obviously we have these velocity controls. 
and the presets are giving you different choices of notes so that's the spread down up spread rr you have a much wider choice and more different velocities and repeatable patterns and then the auto down up is perhaps the most interesting one this is alternating between down and up strokes so you get quite a different sound down up down up down up and then if you change the time signature here within a 3-4 pattern you get down up down down up down and there's a longer 7-8 pattern as well and within the auto down up preset you get a couple of extra controls a C1 which repeats whatever the last thing you hit was so if I go C3, it's that. If I go C4, it's that. And then C2 plays a rest. So that means it just replaces a hit in the pattern with the rest while progressing the pattern. So I could go down, up, down, and then I could go down, rest, down, and skip the upbeat. And D2 will reset the whole pattern to the beginning. So if you play it in the middle of the pattern, it will restart it and so within this you can then start to shape the rhythms more and if you combine it with all the velocity controls that you have available you can create quite convincing quite fast um, and quite exciting rhythms this is the beat that the modern baron instrument inspired me to make uh, i've paired it with some illin pipes which are another celtic instrument the elbow bag pipes as well as some orchestral elements for texture um, and you can hear a little bit the Bauron uh, in action from someone who is completely not an expert. There's definitely more possibilities beyond this, but you know, even I was able to get something that I thought sounded quite cool. So let's have a listen. Thanks so much for watching everyone, definitely go check out LibraWave's Modern Baron instrument which is now discounted on the Audio Plugin Deals website, you can check it out in the link below. Definitely go have a look, as I said subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, until next time, that's all from me, see you later.